So Bradford City have today completed their seventh signing of the 2023 summer transfer window and in today's video I will bring you guys my thoughts and opinions on this news. If you do go on to enjoy please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and get 80 likes on today's video that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are on the road to 8,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get a comment as well down in the comment section down below. Wolves fans let me know what type of player have we signed here as Lewis Richards has joined the club on a permanent basis from Wolverhampton Wanderers for an undisclosed fee. He signed an initial two-year contract with the option of a further year. He can play left back, left wing back or even left sided at centre half as well. He's had previous loan spells with teams like Harrogate as well. So on paper it seems like a good sign. It's nice to have a natural left wing back in the building. The first one since a number of years really you know we've not had a, a natural left wing back in in the club for absolutely ages so fingers crossed this one is a signing that does work out for us make sure to drop a like on there for me subscribe if you are new as well and let's get into it channel memberships are now cheaper than ever with tier one costing just 99p tier two has been reduced from 3.99 a month down to 1.99 a month and tier three has been reduced from 8.99 a month down to just 4.99 a month your support as always is massively appreciated and more members that we have the better the content will be enjoy the rest of the video so this was kind of leaked a couple of hours ago four minutes past 12 today at daniel marsh 92 tweeted exclusive wolves defender lewis richards undergoing a medical at bradford city ahead of a permanent switch richards is an island under 21 international and spent the first half of last season on loan at harrogate town more on mirror football there brief article does then read richards set for bradford switch bradford city have agreed a deal with wolves for defender Lewis Richards. Mirror Football understands that Richards, who has been capped by Ireland at under-19 and under-21 level, is undergoing a medical at Bradford this morning and will join the Bantams on a permanent basis on a free transfer, according to the Mirror. Richards joined Wolves in 2016. The 21-year-old spent the first half of the 22-23 campaign on loan at Harrogate Town, where he caught the eye until injury struck. Bradford City then confirmed this signing at 3pm today, tweeting welcome to Lewis Richards, who joins from Premier League side at Wolverhampton Wanderers for an undisclosed fee so I don't really know if we've paid a fee or it's a free transfer you know contrasting reports there but Bradford City have announced it as an undisclosed fee the article does then read at City recruit Richards Bradford City at AFC is delighted to announce the signing of defender Lewis Richards from Premier League side at Wolverhampton Wanderers for an undisclosed fee the 21 year old who can operate a left wing back left wing back and in the centre of defence has put pen to paper on the initial two year deal at the University of Bradford Stadium with the option of a further season in Claret and Amber Have, uh, he arrived sorry having made a 40 appearance in Premier League 2 for Wolves since moving from Brentford in 2016 and turning out 21 times on loan at Harrogate Town over the past two seasons. Richards has represented Republic of Ireland at youth level and won Wolves' Academy Player of the Year award in 2019. He said, I am really excited to be here and cannot wait to get going. I could not say no to this opportunity and I'm grateful to be spending at least the next two years here. It is a massive club and as soon is what he said. I presume it means as soon as I heard of the interest here, I wanted to come. I like to link up play and defend as well I will get up and down and put crosses in and just want to do well for the team I know the ambitions of the club and want to get promoted I want to be a part of a team full of winners I'm going to get my head down in training and hopefully be successful at this club I'm looking forward to what lies ahead Bantam's boss Mike Hugh said we are delighted to be welcoming Lewis to the club as someone who we have been tracking for a long time he's a strong defender in who we have identified an ability to fit into our system and style of play with his dynamism and the physical and technical boxes he ticks. Having trained with us today, we are excited to be working with him and are pleased to have a player of his calibre with us on a permanent basis. I am sure you will join me in wishing him a warm welcome to Bradford City and look forward to seeing him in action. Richards will wear the number 23, uh, 23, 32 shirt, sorry, in Claret and Amber and be sponsored by Stephen Abbott Financial Services. He is el eligible to play in tomorrow's trip to Morecambe subject to EFL and FA clearances. Now, how good was our last number 32 we signed from a Premier League Midlands club. Tyreek Wright wasn't too bad was he? So fingers crossed Lewis Richards turns out very similar but it's just nice to have a natural left wing back I can't say I know much about him, I can't say I've really seen him play. We'll go through his stats on sofa score in a moment but it seems on paper like a decent sign it's just nice to have a natural left footed wing back who seems to be able to get up and down. You know someone who can just move a little bit is a little bit more useful than Rydaug and because he's left footed he's better than Gilead and Hendry there so uh, we have been playing a bit of a square peg in that round hole since the season 
season has started. So to get a natural left wing back in, I hope he does come straight into the side. You know, I know it takes normally a few days before the, while they integrate into the squad. But for me personally, I think if you want a, a good chance of winning, you need a natural left wing back in that role. And, you know, it seemed like Harry Lewis maybe let something slip that we're going to be playing a back four against Morecambe. Uh, if you've not already checked that clip out, there is a clip over on the short section of the channel. He said that in a podcast yesterday, but I presume more than likely it was just a slip of the tongue and he's more used to saying a back four rather than a back three slash five. So more than likely we'll stick with this three, five, two system that we have been playing, three, four, three, whatever you want to call it. And Lewis Richards will sort in nicely as that left wing back. And for me personally, from the few things that I can tell, he does seem like a decent signing. Now, he's not quite six foot, so I, I can't see him playing in centre half. You know, Hughes like his centre half to be built like the Eiffel Tower, and that's why I think Odyssey is not really fancied, to be honest with you, even though in the back three, you don't need as much height in your wide sided centre half. You know, you saw Stockport, they were playing a right back in Kyle Noyle and a left wing back in Ibu Torre at centre half on Tuesday night. So it's definitely doable. I don't think all three centre backs need to be six foot two, six foot three, in my opinion. So if we do potentially bring in another left wing back. He could slot in as a left-sided centre half because I personally don't think Kieran Kelly's ready as of right now for first team football. But from what we've seen and what we can judge, it does seem like a pretty decent signing. Last season, while on loan at Harrogate Town, he made nine appearances in total in the league, starting four of their matches, averaging 46 minutes per game. He averaged 33.9 touches with a 67% passing accuracy, 72% in his own half, 57% in the opposition half, 30% of his long balls were accurate, 50% of of his chip passes were accurate and 11% of his crosses were accurate as well. He kept no clean sheets, averaging 0.3 inceptions per game, 1.6 tackles per game and 1.9 clearances per game as well. He averaged 0.6 dribbles per 90, 36% of them have been successful, uh, winning a total of 44% of his overall duels. He averaged 2.7 ground duels per 90, winning 57% of them and he averaged 0.3 aerial duels per 90, winning just 16%. For context, I think Timmy Odesina won around 57% of his aerial duels, Matty Platt I think won 74% and Sam Stubbs won 71%. So I think that's the reason why he won't play at centre half, winning only 16% of the aerial duels. That's nowhere near good enough to be playing at centre half. But if you're playing at left wing back, you don't really need your aerial duels as much. And like what I say, he's about six foot, so he provides, I think, a little bit more height than Liam Rydow. Very similar height to Alex Gilead as well. So when we're zonal marking from a set pieces, it's not too much of an increase or a decrease. It's very similar from that point of view. But again, I don't know what his jumping's like. I don't really know what his heading accuracy is like and all that sort of stuff. If we have a look then at how the Bradford team squad is now lining up ahead of the two well not ahead for this 2023-24 campaign that left back slot is looking much nicer as of right now I still think we need to get a couple players out the door in my opinion I'm not going to name names as of right now but I think we could do with getting another midfielder in we definitely need another striker in in my opinion and we could do with another winger or two if we go back to the 3-4-3 we need some more options in there but Harry Chapman is probably about a month five weeks away now from returning to being able to be selected so all Overall thoughts for me, like I said, I don't really know too much about him, but it seems on paper like a good signing. Like I say, it looks like we have paid a fee for him and we don't really do that too much. I don't think it'll be a significant fee. Our recruitment from the Wolves Academy has been very hit and miss. Austin Samuels was a massive flop. Elliot Watt started out good, then had a rough patch, ended it pretty decently as well. Has done very good at Salford last season as well. So it's very hit and miss from Wolves' Academy so far, especially with our recruitment. So we don't really know how this one is going to go, but it's just nice to have a natural left wing back in the building. I'm absolutely over the moon with that. I still don't really know what's going on with John Kaimani Gordon. It seemed like last week it was pretty much a done deal the day after Scott Banks was confirmed to Germany. So I don't really know what's going on with him. It seemed like Palace potentially wanted to keep him while they had the problems with Michael Elise potentially going to Chelsea. Now he signed a new contract there. I would have thought J.K. Gordon would have been announced today, but it seems like we've gone with Lewis Richards instead. It might be because that's just been leaked today. But again, Gordon was le leaked last week, so I don't really know what's going on with that one. Fingers crossed we are able to get that one over the line or just another attacking option because we are quite light on attacking options at this moment in time. I'm going to leave it there, though, for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try an 80 like, Likes, as I said at the start of today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Uh, subscribe if you're new as well. We are on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get a comment in as well down in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on Bradford City signing left back Lewis Richards from Wolverhampton Wanderers for an undisclosed fee on the initial two year deal with the option of a further year? Thank you all very much for watching. Have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you all later tonight for another one. Peace.